everyone, it's Rick here. Hey, so today I've been... <clears throat> obviously, since the start of the new season, we, we've had two new dungeons, the Tazve Shepherd and Lower. So, both are obviously super overtuned, but there are things that I've been watching other streamers and just normal people trying to, to, to time this key and they had a lot of issues with it, so... I've spent quite a bit of time in those two keys here yeah, in, in the last couple of days and I've come up with a bunch of things that can help not just Warlocks but basically every other people so I'll share the video as well to other people to look at those uh, tips and I just have some early season you know findings that are very good on how to deal with some of these uh, packs you know uh, you have a little skips here that you can do where, where is that here this set uh, this this set is very dangerous so and it's not even fortified we get two million hp and so it's not even fortified and yeah we can just skip that by i'll show you in a video here but yeah you don't want to play this guy because it's a potential group wiper also these guys are very dangerous but i'll go through those when we get into the video so i've plotted my pov on what we're going to do i'll just walk you through our run and I'll point uh, like key points basically during the run that you can guys you know duplicate and uh, do whenever we're whenever you guys try to do the key. Okay, so uh, the route, the general route. So you wanna go from from this way here. We've tried this way, but uh, you have the patrols that are very scary and they're roaming around like I don't know. It's just too tight here. The area is too tight. And the two times that I went through here, we had some, you know, some extra pulls. But anyway, let, let me go, for, uh, let me take you through the important mobs. Now, in this first pack you have, where is this guy? It's here, this guy. So this cast, it, it's not actually a cast, but it can be cc it, yeah? You can uh, stun it, uh, Dragon's Breath, you can uh, fear, blinding light, like anything, yeah? You can push it if you, can, if you have like a shaman, heli shaman, but you gotta interrupt that cast. Yeah, it's a it's a totem cast which uh, heals and decreases obviously the the damage that pack is gonna take. So if it goes through, don't worry about it. Just kill the totem. It has very little HP. Just you guys need to focus it, like hard focus it. Everybody needs to hard focus it right away. That's a scary the scary mob in these packs. You have one of each basically. Like you don't have it here, but usually. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that one. Uh, my initial idea was maybe that we can do this with Lust at the start. But uh, it's bolstering and these guys are obviously bolstering I think uh, my tag set. So it wasn't good. But yeah, this is something that uh, can be done I think. With OCDs in the last year in the first part. And then you do this to recover your CDs because the patrol is coming. So you want to get this pack here. Like somewhere here. Basically. So it's away from the from the patrol and the patrol is coming to here so when you get to the um, to the next pack to these guys you want to pull it somewhere here yeah like here because the patrol is going to come so that way and save the stuns yeah or if you have vortex binding shot warrior spear which usually is used in the, the start of a pool so maybe you're not going to have it but yeah you want to pull the pack back here and don't stay in the water you're going to die so <laughs> that's another thing like is sitting in the water it's considered basically like a outside of the map in a way and you're incurring the uh, what's called the breath penalty basically next pack same thing you have this dangerous guy again you gotta like, stun it and this one is a little more tricky because you have uh, this patrol but if you can manage you can put a pack basically here on this island i think and there these two guys are gonna cast here where the skill binders they have a uh, like it says here that they have the same the same cast, but it's something else entirely, so you don't have to worry. Oh, that's a skill binder, sorry. Where is it? Oh. Okay. Yeah. They have something like this, but uh, it's whatever. The first cast that they usually gonna go is with uh, with the water bottle, and you can kick it. So the, the the pack can be stacked a little easier. You can also try to play it here, but you have to kill it very fast because the patrol is... It's a little bit tight, yeah. Now, uh, this one we didn't do in the video. We skip that one because we made a mistake in the routing, but uh, it's usually one that you want to do because you, you'll be exactly 100% when you skip the, the last guy here. Yep. Now, 
I will. Oops, sorry. What am I doing? Anyway, now uh, I'll take you to the video right now, and I'll explain a couple of things through the vote basically, and then we'll come back in game to the to the routing thing, so I can show you the, the other the other dungeon as well, yeah. Because there are a couple of things that you can do here as well to save a lot of time, yeah. Because this key is also it's actually this key is actually difficult the streets of wonder right now even after the nerf i think so let me just get to the video very quickly <clears throat> okay let's see it's looking good now uh that was our comp uh, but everybody here is like super high score yeah so all pumpers obviously and you shouldn't be like making a direct comparison to the key but general ideas yeah so i'll just walk you very quickly we get the first pack here as you can see this guy we kicked it a little late but he's coming and you see the patrol yeah i will just blast we didn't last it but yeah like it, it just full blast and there is the you see this is the fish stick that you need to, to give you it's totem yeah we target it right away and we kill it and the pack is generally you know there, there are a couple of runners so be careful if you have pets just put them on a passive if Things start to run away, yeah. Just so you don't extra pull. And I'm on explosive duty, so it was uh, very cancelled. Trust me, boys. Okay, this pack is done. Like, no, there is not much happening in this pack, so I don't want to make this video too long because we're going to be covering two. Okay, let, let me show you this now. This is the skill binder below this smoke here, yeah. And the warrior has it. He, I'm going to stun it now. Yep, see, see, there is no totem now. So that's something everybody can do, yeah, and uh, the mage can also dragon breath it, you can coil it, you can fear, although the cast is too short if you cast like a, like a your normal cast arm fear, but if you have how, you can also just uh, piercing how that, that guy, or if you have priest, for example. Now, <clears throat> let's move to basically, I think, the, the next room, because th it's a little dangerous. Now. Uh, you see, we actually, like, we, we thought we had the current percent, but we don't. We should have either played this pack or the patrol that's usually coming, but uh, whatever. Like, that was our first run with this group as well, so we, we weren't prepared. It was just me, but I wasn't sure, like, it was the tank shroud. I was just giving some ideas. So, these two mobs, uh, these four mobs, actually, are very dangerous, boys. So, they have a frontal. This one, it selects a player and shoots, like, a, I don't know, like, a electricity beam or whatever it stays on the ground so if you pass over it it's gonna damage you and the next one is a super rough for melees this one charged pools you basically have to run away or you you know you die so it's gonna be hard to do all four mobs although we're gonna pull all four mobs now but if your group has more than one melee i definitely would recommend splitting splitting the pack or maybe you know getting those slow and then pulling the next guys but yeah it, it's rather hard now, <clears throat> we covered this one. Now, the first boss is uh, a couple of pain points. The laser, very dangerous. Like, if you get ticked, you die, yeah? So, what you want to do with the laser, as soon as you get selected, you want to spread it. There are a couple of places you can place the laser, yeah? You can place it somewhere here, at the, at the front of the room, here. So nowhere near around the consoles or where you're picking up the orbs yeah nowhere in the middle basically and you can place it basically in the back of the room the entirety here the entire place of this room yeah the next one the ads they have they cast a shield on the boss so you have to prior focus the ads right away you can stun them and be careful because they'll aggro any player as soon as they come down if you're anywhere near the ads they'll, they'll clap you very hard so Stand somewhere away from them, yeah, like somewhere here. They'll spawn on both sides. So just stand, stay away and wait for the tank uh, to try and get aggro on them. Now, the intermission. Uh, you've probably seen videos on how to deal with it. I'll also uh, link a weak aura, which for me personally didn't work, but it worked for the tank. And it's basically like a small UI that you can uh, select, uh, you know, the colors where people will need to go. But uh, the general idea is that you get four colors. And the console is going to show you two colors, which are for the front and two colors for the back. And players need to pick them up and put them in the in these consoles here. Yeah, they're in each edge of the room. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the boss. I don't know. Like I'll just show you a little bit of it, but 
And here are the mobs, you need to, to stun those. So you stun that one, we missed the other one, but you can see that he's casting a shield on him. And there is a, you know, obviously a cast that you need to kick as well. But it's not that deadly, but it's good to kick it anyway. Like, there's not much you're gonna be doing anyway. So, here we place the beams in the front and the back of the room. And now it's the console time. We pick this, and it's showing right now. Actually, I have it two times, so I have to delete it, obviously. I want some presentation. But it's set top left, and we obviously mistook it, so, you know, mistakes happen. But we fixed it, so everything is good. And as a first boss, basically, and this just repeats like three or four times depending on how much damage you're gonna do. But yeah, like this boss is. It takes a, a while, you know, like three phases, I think we three phases, it. And this is the beam. Gather one. Like if you get ticked, you're dying. Like 100% you're dying. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, here we did a double pack. Uh, there, are, there are a bunch of kicks here that you can that you need to take care of, but like one of them is a boat, which is a, like spammable cast, and the other one is like a, I don't think we're gonna see it. It's a thing they cast on the ground. Let me see. It's that one. I think title burst. But it's there. You can just move. Uh, yeah, it's title burst. Okay. It's just to save some, you know, for efficiency sake. You kind of want to kick it, yeah. Or if the group doesn't have enough healing, maybe you just kick the, the cast as well. But the cast, as you can see, weren't hurting, hurting that much. Anyway. This boss. Uh, so what the... I came up with, it was in a pug, and we had a druid, we didn't have a druid this time, but with any sort of druid and mass root, here's what you want to do. You want to send a tank and any melees over here, you see, in the far edge of the room. Ranges are going to stack here, on this edge. Warlocks and maybe monks can place their illusion or gate, like here, and you can do the same thing as I have the jailer. When you get selected by the chain, you let yourself get dragged, so you can still do damage, yeah, or you can just run, which is also fine. But you gotta do damage, yeah, you gotta kill the bosses. So when you get jacked, you can just take the gate and come back here, yeah. And there is, you know, a couple of things that you need to take care of. Uh, move out of the bombarding thingy, you'll see it uh, on the ground in a moment. And the melees need to be careful from the from the tail, like they shouldn't, they shouldn't be at any times behind the boss. And they should be aware that the tank is going to be rotating the boss towards the ass that are spawning here from the water, yeah? Ads can be stunned, controlled, and as I said, with Druids, it, it was giga easy, yeah? Because Druids just had mass roots for the ads, and whenever the beam comes, he just kills all of them. But yeah, like, ads cannot be really, like, uh, taunted, so you should be careful as well, because they're going to select players, and they'll be chasing the players here, yeah? So, and they clap very hard as well. Uh, let's go through the kill very quickly okay so here's the frontal tank is focusing it there range is safe no buzz no fuss it's so easy huh? nothing to it these are the bombardments you need to take you know you need to move away from them obviously the room will get filled but they'll get removed at one point so you kind of want to just make sure that you have enough space to move around but these will disappear after a couple of casts so nothing to worry about so here this got a little too far, I'll try to stun them now. And soon there should be... Where is my UI though? The cast. Hmm. Interesting. So here is the front. Yeah? So just gotta take care. And that does the fight basically. And you should always be careful. Like, that no point you should be behind the boss because you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get killed by the by the tail. It grabs you and... Like it didn't one shot me but I used defenses when I was behind him so... And here's the jack and I just portal myself, we can also take the gate. Okay, so that's the fight. Next one. Uh, this trash. Uh, kill timer actually, just because I was asking around three minutes. We had very, like, we had decent damage, it wasn't impressive, but yeah. I was doing very little damage because we were killing the CDR guy as well, and I was playing the wrong trinket, but yeah, warriors are crazy boys. If you have a warrior, take a warrior. <laughs> now, watch, uh, very easy skip. The, the scare guy that I told you about. You can just walk by it, yeah? Like, you, you can just do this, and the relics are not pulling, so you don't have to worry about that one. Now, a couple of ways you can do this pack. I personally, obviously, like, uh, people didn't care that much about my CDs here, but you can definitely do two packs here. And the first one, I think. We did, the like, these ones, so, well, you know, whatever, like, 
don't think I pop CDs here because yeah, we have to worry about mage popping. Yeah, you see, like if I pop my CDs, the pack is already dead. So I just kept it for the next one, and we still did a single one. But either of those two, I think we could have double put and then just do one to recover CDs and then do these two guys are very dangerous. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, wait. There is a few cast on these guys, but I don't think we will see it. If, oh, there you go. It's that one. Let me reinvigorate. So you have to kick that one because it's healing the mobs. Next one, the same shit. Mm, now these two guys. <laughs> okay, it's uh, tyrannical weak, and they're deadly. So in fortified, boys, you're gonna have to lose these guys. I'm sorry to say it, but these guys, unless they get nerfed after uh, I upload the video, these guys are super dangerous. Now. <clears throat> This is a frontal, both guys have a frontal. Uh, I think I died here because of explain, you know, so it's the next one. They cast a pulser, this wandering pulser. It's ticking super hard, so you need to use personals and hard focus, uh, like everybody has to hard focus it. As you can see, I'm trying to, but I'm um, fucking warlock, so my prior target is bad, but warrior takes care of it, easy. And it, they both cast one, so you need to, you need to kill those very fast, okay, now. That's pretty much it. The last boss. Uh, this is a very difficult boss, not gonna lie to you boys. So, it has two phases. The damage in the first phase, phase basically doesn't matter, yeah? So, there is a world that I can see. Obviously, that's why you're gonna lose the previous guys and lose P2, but... Anyway, P1. You have two ads spawning. You just have to kick them. They're not that dangerous. Just don't stay next to them so you, they don't hit you, basically. Uh, other than that, in P1, there is a dot that you'll see, actually, I'll just go there and show it to you, where is this? It, it's uh, this one on the right, yeah? Uh, currently, it was done so people, like one person can take care of it. You can just let the healer in your group just take care of it, because he knows exactly how much healing he has, so he knows when he can uh, go in, yeah? You can see here in the back, he's just doing it. Oh, and he's just clicking and he knows when he has the, the healing to take care of it, basically. And that's pretty much P1, and where is the ads? Here's, these are the ads, you just they have a kick, you can just click them down, yeah, like, they're not important. Okay, P2, the, the very, the very, very, very difficult part of this boss, okay. As you can see now, you're gonna have these stars here, more basically relics, yeah. Each player needs to go behind one, now he's gonna transform, here he is, and you see these lines? They need to hit the, the relic. So you can either go behind or you can honestly you can just go in it. Did I fail that one? I don't think so. Because I'm getting this one, yeah. I don't think we failed. Let's see. I think Tank failed that one. Well, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Wait. Oh yeah, see, like there's nobody here. Mage was not there. See someone is moving here. Is that shaman? I don't know. No, oh, it's the shaman maybe. No, Mitch was here, so it was the shaman, I think. It doesn't matter. So, second time, we get each, all of them, and it's done. And they're doing a lot of damage, so use personals, yeah? Like, this cast, look at that damage. Like, I don't think I did here because I was talking, I was focused on the wrong stuff, but... No, I didn't use, but I'm super tanky anyway. Like, I can just call, but uh, definitely use a personal here. It's a very dangerous cast. Uh, the other mechanics, like this boss is very important, for, like people need to do the mechanics, yeah, this is basically the fireworks, I call them. He's gonna shoot this arrow, and as you can see, all of these are deadly, yeah, so you have to dodge them. And I, I think I got hit by that one, but a very easy way to do this, when the first cast goes, it's always gonna do this, yeah, it's always gonna do this. It's four times, it's either in this direction or the other one, it's not gonna be random from here to here to here to here, yeah. It's always going to be circular movement. So, after the first cast, what you should do, and I shouldn't, I didn't do, you should just run here, because it's the safest spot, yeah? As you can see, I got hit. And just uh, pepeg stuff. But it's shooting them to, to, to those stars, basically, yeah? It's five times. So, after the first star, you can basically know that the cast is going here. So, you move away to dodge, and don't, move, don't do what I did. Don't move towards the other relic, just move away from the relic, yeah? And after that, you know that that was the first relic, and this would be the safest spot, basically, on the map. Almost died here, but it's fine. Healer is a professional player. This is the third one. 
I just, yeah, don't sit on it. It's, you wanna die. Just move out. And the dot is still here from P1. So the healer still needs to do this one. But maybe another player can help him out if he's not in position. And this is pretty much it. And now you're gonna have another laser. There you go. Now, this is gonna go like this. So we're gonna move here. This is the safest spot. And it's easy to dodge, yeah? You have plenty of time to react. Okay. Back to the first mechanic in of P2, and gotta take care of the lasers. And this is it, yeah. First boss. Now this video is becoming a little long, guys. So I'm not sure, but I think I just wanna put both of the Tazvesh things in one video. I'll just mark like I'll put timestamps so people know whichever video they wanna look at. And that way, obviously, if you need some information from for Street of Wonders that I'll do now, you can just skip to here and move from here. But yeah, that was pretty much the first dungeon. Now, this key is very difficult. Trash and bosses are overtuned as hell. First pull is annoying. You can use one minutes or two minutes and do the small guys after that, like this, basically. Well, use one minute, save and pull multiple of those mobs here. Uh, I'll explain the mechanics when we go to the boss actually, but here there is just one cast that's very diff... Uh, where it is? It's a shield, but I can't remember which one. I think this one had the shield. I guess I'll show it to you when... Uh, there it is. This one is... You gotta kick it. Hard light barrier. It's the officer. So people... There need to be someone assigned to kick that one. Because it's a huge bar, it's a huge bar, it's basically half of the mob HP, <laughs> pretty much. Okay. I'm not gonna talk about this. A small trick that you can do, you can kill this guy. This guy spawns the boss, so you can basically pull that guy and do this free. We didn't do it, I don't know why, but... You can do this, like this pack, wait. Separately, after killing that guy, just pull it back. And you can just get whichever buff you want and take it into the boss and get a second buff on the boss so it can help you with the timer, yeah? Anyway, uh, moving forward, a couple of very, very, very dangerous mobs here. Where, where is that guy? This guy, it's invisible. This shit, it kills the entire group. These are stealth mobs, but you can just pull them by passing by. This needs to be stunned. Yeah, or DB it or anything, fear, whatever. And you gotta kind of pre focus these guys, they're very dangerous. Look at them. Red, you see red, you kill like bulls. Okay, next pack. So, a couple of things we can you can do this here. If you can, if you have a rock, you can just do this pack after. But what we did, I'll show you in the video, you can go here, like right here. You can body pull without pulling these guys, you can pull them back and kill them because what we did, as if you already have done this key, know that there are a bunch of events here that are honestly like I calculated it's probably around three minutes, maybe two minutes and a half, wasted time in doing events. So what I figured would be we didn't have a rook in this group as, as, as you saw in the last key. But you have, if you have a rogue, I think you don't have to do this. But for any group that doesn't have a rogue, here's what we did. We killed a warrior. We took, like, we did this pack the last. Yeah, we did it last. We took war. The group went here. They triggered the, this event. And by, uh, well, during the time he was talking, I was invising from here. I triggered this door. So the guys triggered this door and they came after that. And obviously that was something we did on the move. But they killed one of the packs with cooldowns here because we're waiting for the event anyway and we don't need CDs for a while here while we're doing the, the market thing um, <clears throat> what I did is I passed all these mobs and I came here to this room triggered this event because this one is also very long and we found out a nice helpful bug here that I wouldn't recommend doing it because it's like we basically had two damage buffs here yeah that help us like this one for the damage where we, where whichever the the thing is here i don't know which one is like it's a circle thing around you that you can collect the bows and the bows are going to give you by collecting bows 
everybody gets like bonus damage that's around the, the circle. So we get two of those buffs and this boss was a complete joke. Like I think we killed it in four minutes. It's usually around six minutes without doing it with the with double buffs. So yeah, I came here and I'll show you in the video a little more, but uh, there was a small issue, like the, the tank got snapped to the boss when it when I triggered it. But I stayed for too long because I wanted to make sure that the boss is gonna spawn. So when you get here, uh, the boss is, you know, ready to be engaged. And I could have maybe just not stay as long there, but anyway, going back. <clears throat> uh, any other dangerous parts here? Uh, there is more trick I'll show you here, but yeah, I don't think, and we did one extra pack, which is a mistake, and we didn't do this. So let me get you to the video. We almost timed the 16 here. There were a couple of unfortunate things, like the guy, that was the first kill for the guys in that dungeon, but let me get you in the vault very quickly, one moment, and I'll show you this very quickly as well. Okay. No. Uh, what do we want to do? Okay, what am I doing here? So that's the 16, we could have timed, but we didn't, and we were like mistiming a bit two minutes and we decided to go blast the 15 and some other random shit happened but uh, uh what do i want to show you let me see because this is the 16 but we didn't do some of the things that i explained to you now so i think i'll just go to the 15 actually i'll explain the mechanics okay actually last boss is good to explain so i can show you something from the next room basically let me just get somewhere here. Okay, so this boss, it's also very difficult to do, like the other Tazavesh. Super, super difficult, actually. Now, you see these beams? They start randomly somewhere in the room. What you want to do is, like, a little bit like artificial. You got to take the color that corresponds to where it's safe within the barrier. So here it's this one. Mages, soul shape. Um... I'm not sure about warrior jump, but it probably should work. The heroic leap. But yeah, you can blink over the barrier without taking damage. But barrier deadly. So you gotta you know gotta calculate a little bit. Now, this is the first mechanic. Then the room gets split, yeah. You cannot go for it for this, so you're gonna have the same thing. So you, you have to think sometimes because at times, this sir, it, the, the, the circle may spawn here, and as you can see, you cannot get here, and you cannot blink. I don't think you can blink over this one, actually. I haven't tried. So you gotta take triangle, and then you gotta take circle from there to here, yeah? Or you can just place your portal like me, if you're a warlock. The rest of the guys, I'm sorry, boys. Another thing that it's very... Obviously, it's not dangerous, because the cast is like 10 seconds long, but... Not kicking like we tried just because when uh, he's doing the, the double cast, he's not doing any mechanics. That's what we thought, and it, we thought like it's gonna be free damage basically. Where okay, this is the cast, the cast double technique, yeah. So, as you can see here, we kind of kick semi early, like a 20%, and this one we kick early again, yeah. We thought we're gonna do the following for the next round for the 15, and we're not gonna kick it that early, yeah. Well, boys, that was a mistake because what happened is by not kicking it, he started doing the circles more, and we had two circles at the same time, and we wiped. A very unfortunate, a very unfortunate. But yeah, these, these are the difficult things basically in the boss. So let me get you to the 15 if I can very quickly somewhere here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I kind of explained these mobs. Here is the cast, the officer. I think we'll get it. No, it's me actually. Well, I'm a professional player, of course, I'll get it. Kappa. So that's pretty much it. Like, uh, I had very bad uh, city management here. Like, we decided to play around the mage, and so he can get combusts like two times for every pack, basically, by, you know, doing the packs in a certain way and getting the other guy. So, very good for mage, very bad for two minute classes, uh, I gotta say. Anyway, I'll just go to the boss so I can show you very quickly the boss. Let 
we didn't obviously do what I suggested, but it didn't. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. So here is the boss. He has to cast the first one. It's our security. It's gonna select a player, and it's gonna get silenced. So you gotta go pick up your shit from the ground. I don't know. I think the mage gets select, but you can't see it. I'll show it in a moment. The second uh, mechanic is this one. Okay. Wait. Yeah, get actually silenced. So it's inbound contraband actually, my bad. So actually the armor security is probably the circles on the ground. Okay, so in inbound contraband, you get selected like this. And you're gonna get silenced, just look around you, you're gonna see your weapon like here, and you're gonna go pick it up. The next mechanic is interrogation. A player will be selected again. I don't know which one, it's me. So just go away from the boss. The bo boss is gonna target you, you're immobilized, other people need to help you to break you out with. This is it. Yeah, that's the first boss, it's very easy. Now let's let's go a little bit forward. Like this key, it's like kind of easier, but everything has a lot of HP and mechanics are deadly, yeah? Okay, here it is. The Skulkers, the very dangerous mob. There is one more here, like I told him, I don't know if he got it. Okay, he got it. Now these guys, let's see if we're gonna catch the cast. Oh, we killed them so fast, bro. Let's see. Let's watch together. I'm not sure if we're gonna actually get a mechanic. Like, we really, like, really killed them very fast, man. Like, no joke. This time we just... Everybody had CDs. Oh, here is this quick blight, yeah? And it gets stunned. So, just stun the, the quick blight. It's a 3 second cast, so it's usually enough time for people to, to react to it. Now, I'll show you here. We let the tank pull these. The cast you can LOS, we come here and the mobs are gonna come to you, yeah? That's pretty much it. Next pack, we have one muscle that we're gonna do with the next pack. Usually it's connected to this pack, but we didn't, we couldn't pull it. So you just go here, move to the left, don't do anything weird. We get one skul uh, skulker, basically the shadowy guy. We got a prior target, like you have to prior targets here, but maybe this one is not as priority if you can just stun it, yeah? That's it. And we sh shouldn't have done this pack. Like, I was sure that we don't have to do it, but it doesn't matter. We did one more. Well, it does, like, we just invest one of the last packs in the dungeon. Okay, so here we do this guy. And we get the invis. And as you can see, I've run to the left. The rest of the guys should go right now to trigger the the... Dancing bear room. I'll trigger this one as you can see. You just need to walk by it, I think. And it's gonna open the door. You keep walking, keep, keep walking now here. I don't know why it didn't shut the event. Maybe because I was invested and it couldn't detect me. So next time, and you can't remove it because it's a debuff, yeah? Like you can't just unclick it and become, become revealed. So I think what you can do is maybe you can cast like a demonic gate or some other cast like this that it's channeling so you can be. Reviewed. I'm still not reviewed. As, yeah. So I should have waited. Like that was a little unfortunate. I wasn't prepared for that one. But yeah. So here, as you can see, I'm sitting. Like I have no idea if the event is starting. So it started now. I guess this is my assumption. I haven't done this key again since because I got cancer doing like 20 of those keys in a row. Yeah. Maybe not 20, but like 10. So I think it's safe for you to leave right now. I'm actually pretty sure it might be safe because the event is triggered. But I just wanted to make sure that. The boss is gonna come down. So I stood until the very end and look what happened here. That, that was funny, huh? I saw myself getting put in combat by the boss coming down. So I wouldn't recommend... Like this is 50-50 here that uh, I kind of want to recommend, but at the same time I don't want recommend because I'm not sure if it's gonna uh, wipe a group while they're doing something else. For example, I could just leave early and maybe I'm not going to be put in combat. I'm not sure about that one. I have to do additional testing. But yeah, just uh, if you don't risk it, don't do it. But here's what happened. Like the, the tank, look, they were doing uh, the other event and he just got snapped here. I don't know why. Look, he's here now. <laughs> it was very weird. But it's also possible that you can, guys can just get the invest and come here because this is the hardest boss and you have lost. This uh, the second hardest, actually. Never mind. Uh, maybe the hardest. I just takes a while to kill. It's like triple boss, it's a lot of movement, it's a lot of things that you need to take take care. 
So it's usually a rather difficult boss, so you might want to use Lust here by taking the wall and having everybody come here instead. Anyway, uh, lucky, very lucky, the healer also got snapped, I think, but because I was um, in C, the boss despawned and we got, basically, we get the debuff. That's giving us extra damage, yeah? That allows you to collect orbs. So when we got back to the boss, we had two of those. It's going to give you a slow, which is a little, you know, inconvenient, but after playing with Taurus for an entire, like, uh, entire year in 9.1, I think everybody's, like, already capable enough to... I was waiting to see if it's going to fall, but it wasn't falling, so I decided to, to risk it. And in this, instead of dying, and thank God I did, I built it here because, yeah, usually you don't, you, don't, you don't have enough time to just do it with the invis pot. I also built it here. So that was two invis, invis, invisibilities with the slow. But maybe with soul shape it's going to be enough. I'm not sure. I didn't have it. And I was just perma slot. And that thing was jumping to the tank and I think the healer. But yeah. It's unfortunate it's not giving the buff while we're doing the rest of the dungeon. That would have been unintended, obviously. And fixed as soon as Blizzard uh, probably saw my video. But that's pretty much it. So this event, uh, they were doing it while I was coming. This event, I don't have footage of it. But you pick up like items and one of the guys in the bazaar will be highlighted. You just need to go there. There are these strong strong arm guys. They select the player. Let me see if there is footage of that. But they can be stunned, CC, uh, Frost Nova, Coil, anything works on them. So yeah, as you can see, this guy is chasing uh, the healer with the with the thing. If you're a shaman pro tip, before picking up the item, you can go in ghost wolf and then pick it pick it up because you you usually slowed so if you, you have such mobility you can just let the shaman do it anyway first boss uh i mean second boss i don't know uh not much to do there is one thing very key so pick up the item and as you can see you get these uh, notes here just use the action bar and you get 6% damage and haste, I believe, when it stacks to 10, maybe. So that's pretty much it. The boss itself, it's very easy. There is n literally nothing happening on this boss. So where it is? Uh, should be somewhere here. There, there's the boss. Hey, it just has a, like a pull, basically, and a kick. That's it. You'll see the pull in a second. This one is suppression spark. Just move out. Uh, you can also use the action bar when you turn around if you don't have good mobility to just, you know, zap away from the boss basically. And that's it. This is the first boss. Okay. Uh, you can also take gate here if you have. It's a little bit of time safe instead of running around. And this boss is semi difficult, uh, I would say. He has a bunch of things that you need to take care of. Okay. Let's see, uh, he has three casts, I believe. First one, you gotta soak a thing on the ground. It's always the same. It's a purple thing, uh, maybe a pink thing. This one. Uh, you can pull the boss to the side and just ignore one side of the room so you don't have to run around a lot. Because it's uh, like a, an area ground effect that is gonna stay until the end of the fight. But yeah, like you can just soak the one next to the boss so you can have this room to work with. Yeah, As you can see, we just ignore some of them. You don't have to collect all of them. Now, second mechanic, fan mail. It's like a, an AoE damage. You use a person with it. It does a quite a bit of damage. Just look at it. It's like doing a lot. I just coil myself to heal and that's it. This is the third mechanic. If you have immunities, you can just immune it right away. The debuff is gonna disappear. So nobody needs to, to soak and take damage. But as you, as you see, I need to go in melee so everybody can help with the soaking and split the damage. And the fourth mechanic is unstable goods. I think it's these beef cases. They're thrown on the ground. You need to pick them up. And what you can also do is you can just have somebody stay, for example, where the active, uh, I don't know, like, uh, I don't even know what the fuck this is. It just burns them, I guess. It's like a furnace, I suppose. Yeah, you can have somebody stay there and just throw them from here to there and you can just pick them up and throw them more. You can just do it yourself. You come here and you just throw them as you can see. And these are the mechanics of this boss. Nothing too too crazy, yeah. Huh? Uh, actually, it's, it's very crazy. You should you should be careful. All of these mechanics are deadly, but 
Yeah, if people are doing the mechanics, the boss is easy. Nothing to worry about. Then the mechanics just repeat in the same order. At the female, you have the soak, as you can see here. And then you have unstable goods. And this is just repeats until the boss is dead, yeah. And let me show you here. I think that's on mage now. And he's just going to ice block. And it disappears. So I suppose it should work with perhaps Netherwalk. I don't know, maybe Turtle or Faint Dead. I don't know. Like you need to experiment with that on your own because I haven't played with uh, all the, like I haven't played the key with all the specs, so I'm not sure. But if this works for Ice Block immunity, I suppose it's probably gonna you know replicate the same effect with other immunities in the game. Okay, next one. Uh, these three we do here on the side because they're kind of dangerous, but not too much here. A small tip: this guy is gonna cast like a like a leash between one of the melee players and the furthest player from the group that's uh, furthest away and what you can do is the following you can just sit behind this uh, I don't know like edge and as you can see the guy's gonna get pulled but it, oh you can jump it over if you jump so don't jump I tested it but it, it's basically negating one of the mechanics of the the, I don't know, the ad, which is a difficult ad as well, like it's clapping and I can't kill this explosive so somebody else needs to do it, like it's a little it's kind of weird here with the one line of sight but usually it works, like as you can see we're both casting with the healer and the mage, and I'll get pulled and I think I'm gonna try to jump over in that video, Let's see I don't think I did it, I guess, uh, maybe I did it on the 16, I don't know doesn't matter so we go to the next boss and here's what uh, we found out, yeah? Like, we're gonna have two of these debuffs here, so we, we're gonna have a lot more damage than we're supposed to. I don't know if this is gonna get fixed, but it was, uh, you know, a nice little finding there. First boss is not that dangerous, but yeah, you need to dodge these guys because they do heavy amount of damage. If you can't do it, uh, immunity or heavy defense, if you're gonna get gripped, so go away. Now, let's. Okay, there you go. Let's see. Well, you see, we have two guys with the debuff right now. So when the next bo when the next boss spawns, we're gonna have basically. Oh, another thing. You wanna kill the boss as soon as possible, because the next boss is gonna come down on a timer, and you're gonna have two bosses at the same time. So I think it comes one minute into the fight. Yeah, it's exactly one minute into the fight. It's one two. So basically, after his. Uh, his phrase he is coming down but this guy is gonna spawn these little orbies you wanna go where has the debuff you wanna stack them as you can see here in the top right and these are gonna give damage when you go basically now I'll go to melee I think I'm not going to melee okay I'm going to melee and everybody here is gonna get the damage as well and it's also good to collect these because the room is the room is gonna get filled and these guys are doing damage to players that get touched by them, yeah? So you want to collect them with this, you don't get any damage from it, look. Yeah, and you just get a lot of, like a lot of damage. You can stack that a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Here, a little bit of a Pepe Gamus. Nobody saw. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So he's going to do a pur purification protocol. Which, wait. I guess I did it in the other video, but uh, this one is purgeable, yeah? Like, he has a shield that you need to 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 remove. Okay, it's flagellation is the first one, I guess. See, that's a shield. You can purge this with shamans. Maybe, the I think the mage can do it too. We can do it with our fell hunter. I purged here, I think. Somebody else actually purged that one, but I purged all the previous ones, yeah? And you kick that one, basically. And here's the last boss. It's a very difficult boss, so you should be careful. You need to keep some CDs for that guy. Uh, he's gonna chain a player again, like the first boss. As you can see here, we need to break him free. We're finishing the old boss. And now this good boss is gonna stay here and he's gonna shoot orbs the entire time. So having this, look at this, we're just collecting. And the pool is very, 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 very hard. So you, you kinda wanna have some mobility for that one, yeah? And we break the guy again. That's pretty much it. The fight, yeah. Nothing. I mean, it's crazy, but once you understand the mechanics, it's not that crazy. 
They're overtuned as fuck though, I'll say that. So they're collecting, they're collecting, and this time the boss took like 4 minutes, I think, yeah? It's 340, usually it takes 5 to 6 minutes. So the damage buff, insane boys, like look at that, at 10 stacks, right. Here we killed it too fast because we had to skip one pack uh, because of the extra pack, so we had to invest, but yeah, just belt over, I guess. Or just don't do the extra pack that we did. And we go to last boss. So we already, I already showed you last boss, I just want to show you the double ring, I think. I'm not sure where it is. Okay, we, as you can see, <laughs> we're letting the, the cast, yeah, to the last second, so we can potentially free damage it as we, as we thought. But we had, like, look at that timer, like, we had six minutes, I think, when we engaged the boss. Ah, I was, let's watch this together, I guess. I personally didn't see the double ring during, during the fight, but... Everybody was saying it was double ring, I don't know how I survived, let's see. Oh yeah, like that's the thing that fucked us so hard. Because we didn't kick, he's apparently doing, like, replacing the, 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 the portals at some sort of a timer, I guess. And this is where everything went to shit. Look, we just didn't, like, people just panicked, yeah? Obviously, <laughs> he didn't care, he took it, but let's see, what did everybody else do? Okay, I got in time, what about the rest? Oh, see, there's the, the second ring right away, it's going right away, yeah? And, woo, look at that shit, I have no idea where I'm going, I'm gonna Pepega, um, uh, Shaman died. I'm alive. Let's see if I gonna tank is not taunting I don't think. I could have went here, yeah, but I panicked as well. Oh, so shape, all good, but I'm in seed because everybody else died. So we cannot scrap that fight for a while, but yeah. Guys, kick him. Definitely kick fast because if you don't kick, that's what's gonna happen, I think. So I'm gonna Summon, I'm gonna rest. Let's see what happened actually. I'm very curious. I, I think I'll just portal here. Okay, that's good. I'm still alive. <laughs> that was a fun fight. And now I, I spent like that was here tank mistake. He should have just taken somehow the portal so he can come to us because like this guy is like immune now, now for me at least. Look. I can't I can't hit him. Like my, my spells don't work. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Uh, I know the video is very long, but I believe it, it has a lot of useful things for you guys to to look at and to take into account when you're doing these keys. But both these keys are timeable, yeah? We unfortunately couldn't time that one because we died at the end, but it should have been time if we didn't experiment with uh, not kicking, yeah? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, thank you very much. I know it's very long, but I hope it's helpful. So. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments. I'm going to upload the weak aura that we use for the Sule Gambit dungeon for the first boss in the, in the description below. But as I said, it didn't work for me, it worked for everybody else. So I'm not sure if it's something that's uh, buggy with my UI or something like this. So I'll try to look into it. But yeah, if you have my UI, beware that it might not work for you. Other than that, I had a lot of fun. Uh, doing the video, not doing the keys, so show me some love <laughs> if you can. I hated the keys, they're very overtuned, but with some of those tricks, I hope you guys can time this key this week so you can upgrade your items uh, next week, yeah, after you get the sufficient score. Okay, guys, I'll send you off. Thank you very much for if you stayed for the entire video. Thank you very much, you're awesome. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. CFLs.